Dear MechSec Guy, thank you for considering the latest Rink product. We're excited to present the new Rink releases in the Galaxy Note 9 collection, featuring best rated styles like the Rink Fusion X and many more styles to protect the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Please find the enclosed samples of the Rink Fusion, Fusion X, Onyx, Air, and Wave compatible with the Galaxy Note 9. As a complimentary bonus, we also included a brand new accessory including the Rink Flip Card Holder to complete your brand new cases. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoy the new Rink cases. Thank you with warm regards, Rink Team. What's up YouTube, MechSec Guy here. So in today's video, Rink actually sent me quite a few cases that they want me to take a look at. They sent me five, which each one of them is a different style, different color as well. And this is kind of just to show you all the different styles and colors that they have to offer. But on top of that, they supp they're supposed to offer protection which is a great thing for a case. That is kind of what it's supposed to do. And they're actually pretty affordable. Uh, they do fit the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And I did do a video on the unboxing. So if you haven't watched that video, it's right up here. So definitely check it out. But as far as the cases go, let's go ahead and jump into them and see what they have to offer. All right, so we have all cases here lined up and each one of these cases is a different style. But let's go ahead and just do a quick little unboxing. All right, much better. Okay, so first off we have the Wave case. And the reason this case is called the Wave is well because the name implies the design type on the back of the case. It has a nice subtle Wave look design on the back combined with both plastic and rubber on the inside and outside of the case, which also gives a two-tone color combination. The inside has nice and smooth rubber, which should give your phone both protection when dropping it, but it's also a nice material so it doesn't scratch up your device. The Wave design is not my cup of tea. It looks feminine in my opinion, but if you do like it, it also comes in a coastal blue and metallic chrome. The one cool thing about this case is that the Bixby button is textured, so that way you feel exactly when your finger is about to activate her. Alright, next up is my personal favorite of the bunch, and that is the Fusion X. Personally, I like the way this one looks and feels because it gives off an aggressive and rugged look, but the best part about it is that this case gives you a good feeling that if dropped, it should protect your device. The whole outside is made of hard silicone, and the back is clear so you can still see your Note 9 when holding it. Honestly, it doesn't add that much spokiness to your device also. One of my favorite parts of this case is the fact that the power button has a textured feel to it as well as a Bixby button, which is great so that way you know where the power button is. In addition, the volume buttons are slightly slanted so that way you know which one you're pressing. If black isn't your thing, then you can also pick, pick it up in navy. Moving on to the next one is the air case. Honestly, this case is probably the flimsiest of them all, and I'm not really sure if this case is really meant to protect your device like the Fusion X would, but if you're looking for something slim, non-bulky, and light, then this might be the case for you. It comes in this aqua blue, but also comes in smoke black and then completely clear. Again, this case is pretty flimsy, but if you don't want to add bulk to the already big Note 9, then this might be the one to pick. I will say though, the silicone that is used in this case is super sticky to my hands. I'm not sure if that's because my hands tend to be more moist than dry, but I do like how sticky it was to my hands. My only gripe is that you can see fingerprint and smudges all over the case. Also, the textured Bixby button continues in this case. Next up is the Fusion case. This one is clear all the way around, but also comes in smoke black, orchid purple, and aqua blue. This case has a similar design to the Fusion X, but it's not as aggressive looking. However, the whole case is made of hard silicone, so the protection should be a lot more potent than something like the Air case. This case does have the same feeling as the Air case in terms of it being really sticky to my hands. I could almost hold this phone vertically in my hand and would stick to my fingers, which I really like, but it does leave them smudges on the back. The texture Bixby button again continues in this case, and in addition, you get a strap thrown into the case that you can strap to the case, and that way you can hang it from your wrist. Me personally, I don't see myself using this strap, but someone like my wife might. The strap has a nice feel to it and feels pretty stiff. It is braided, so it shouldn't fall apart that easy and looks like it should last you a while. Last is the Onyx case. Now, this case is probably my second favorite because of the way it looks. I like the textured feel on the back, and I'm not really sure if you remember those holographic cards you used to get that would change colors or pictures based off the shift of the card, but that's what it feels like. Then at the top, you have a different texture and feels more like a rugged silicone. The one thing I will say is that this case is flimsy, but it's not as bad as the air case. However, according to Rink, the case has military grade protection and me military standard 810G-516.6. Needless to say, this case should be able to withstand shocks that may be transferred to a phone when dropping it. The Bixby button is textured like all the other cases, but if there's one thing I don't like is the fact that this one was a lot more slippery than all the others. 
Pretty sure it has something to do with the fact that the case has more slick silicone all around, but in terms of style and protection, you should be good. Also, it comes in black and includes a strap as well. All of these cases do a really good job about making sure that all the ports and necessary holes are exposed. I had no problem charging the phone when plugging it in or when wirelessly charging and also I was able to access the S Pen with no problem either. The speaker and the microphone ports are well exposed as well so you aren't losing any sound quality when recording or listening to music. Or if you decide to listen to music with some wired headphones, guess what? You can plug in those headphones into the phone because well it has a headphone jack and this case has a headphone hole. All the cases expose the camera, fingerprint sensor, and the front panel, so there isn't any obstruction of your screen view or when taking a picture, but you still get the protection that these components need. The front part of the case is raised so your screen will never touch the surface and you can avoid scratches on probably the best mobile display out there. All right guys, so have you ever been in a situation where really all you wanna carry is like your wallet and your phone? Uh, but the thing about it is that sometimes you don't wanna carry two things separately, so you end up carrying just like one card and maybe like your phone. Well, the cool thing is that Ring actually makes a flip card holder. And I do like this flip card holder because one, it's pretty slim and it can carry about two cards and it does come with a strap around it. And and with this strap, what you're able to do is just close up the actual wallet and that way your cards just don't go flying everywhere. Now, the back does have adhesive on it and that way you can actually stick this wallet to the back of the case and kind of just carry your phone and wallet at the same time. All the cases and the flip card holder will be linked down below in the description. And also, if you have an iPhone 10 or if you have an S9 or S9 Plus, you're not left out because Ring actually makes cases for those phones as well. So be sure to check them out. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, did, be sure to press that like button down below. I do have other videos you can watch which are right here, right here, and right here. And also be sure to be subscribed by pressing this button right here or going down below and pressing the subscribe button down below as well. Also be sure to press that notification bell so that way when I do drop other videos you can catch them right away. Alright, well thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.